Hey guys, this is Pope, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Linux Mint 18.2 versus Windows 7 battery performance test. So, I'm going to be doing this on my HP ProBook 6 or 50V with the original battery that it came with, which is at this point about six years old. So, battery is definitely on its way out, and uh, it just doesn't last at all. I get about two hours tops on this battery. So I'm just going to be doing a series of tests on this just to see um, which operating system can last longer. So the first test I'm going to be doing is just watching this video on the HP ProBook 6450B. I have my brightness turned all the way up, sound off, and you can see we're at 100% battery. And I'm going to be watching this at 720p at 60fps. I'm just going to start a timer for 5 minutes and we'll see how well it performs, so we're going to go ahead and unplug it, and go. And of course, it does that. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever, here we go. My laptop cord just fell under the desk, and uh, yeah, be right back. Alright, we just hit the 5 minute mark, and as you can see, we are 97.3%, so it didn't drop too much, so I'm going to go ahead and just go, go to uh, 1080p at 60fps for 5 minutes and see how it does. So I'll reset the timer, and it should be ready to go, and I'll watch alright, never mind. Alright, and here we go. Alright, so we just passed the 5 minute mark again, and uh, as you can see, it dropped to 91.1% battery. So, nah, not that great. So next, we're going to go ahead and do an OBS recording. So, let's go ahead and open up OBS real quick. Alright, so the next test is going to be a little more intensive, as you can see at OBS running, and we're just going to record for two minutes on the UFO test, so um, I'm just going to go ahead, start the recording, and uh, I'll just do it for two minutes and see how the battery uh, does. As you can see, we're at 88.3% right now, so let's see what's that. Alright, so we just passed two minutes, so let's stop recording. As you can see, we are now at 84.8%, so we didn't lose too much, but that was a very small time span. So next, we're going to go ahead and open up Shotcut and edit the video that we just made. And there seems to be a thunderstorm coming in, cool. Alright, we just got Shotcut opened up. So, um, let's go ahead and add it to the timeline real quick. And I'm not even going to edit the video at all, I'm just going to go ahead and export it. And so it recorded at 29.970 FPS and I'm going to encode it at 60% quality. So let's call it test, and I'm also going to see how long it takes to do it. So, 3, 2, 1. And we are at 75.4% battery, so, uh... Yeah, we'll see how much it's at when it's done. It should be done relatively soon because it's going pretty quickly, so, yeah. Alright, so we are almost done, as you can see. And 99, done. Alright, so it took 2 minutes 32 seconds. For those curious, I'll, uh, I'm actually going to edit a um, timer onto the screen, hopefully, if I can figure out how to do that, but
but it should be there as long as well as the uh, percent loss. I think we lost five percent. Yeah, about five percent that time. So uh, not too bad. Um, nah, I'm actually going to use that same file uh, for the Linux, just you know, so it's the same thing, a little fairer. And if we, uh, you know, watch it, there you go. You can see it's fully encoded, and uh, it looks worse than the original. So perfect. Alright, so the last test I figured I'd do would just watch the video and put it on two times speed and uh, see what we're at. So as you can see, we're currently at 70% exactly right now and we'll see what it's at afterwards. So, yeah. Alright, so we finished it and as you can see, it lost like 1.2%, so not that much, but it wasn't that long of a video. Alright, so that concludes the Windows side of the test. I know there's a whole lot more I could have done, like, certain games, you know, there's, like, um, benchmark tests, and I could have done that, but I figured I only use this thing for browsing and watching videos, so I might as well just do that instead. And it should still give you a good idea of which operating system is better at, uh, battery performance at least. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot into Linux and do the same test. Alright, so we have booted up into Linux, and as you can see, we are currently at 82% battery, and this is going to be the same exact test, just on Linux. So, as you can see, we're at 720 at 60 FPS, I'm going to do it for 5 minutes, then I'll do 1080p at 60 FPS for another 5 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug it. This time not drop the cord. There we go. Make sure that it's still... 82% it is, so 3, 2, 1. Alright, so we passed the 5 minute mark. And let's go ahead and check the battery. And it's at 76%, so it did drop uh, significantly more than um, Windows, I believe. I actually went over the 5 minute mark just a little bit, so yeah, maybe you can add 1% back. So, um, I think this is where we started on the other one. So let's just do 1080p. And we'll uh, start test. We are at 75 and then three, two, one. All right, so we just hit the five minute mark. If you could stop, that'd be great. There we go. And we are at 69%, so I believe we lost 6%, so uh, not great, but mm, I mean, it's not the worst I've seen this laptop drop, so. Alright, so I could not get OBS working, unfortunately. If I open it up, we get a little spinning cursor, and then it just stops. So, not sure what to do about that. Um, they gave me a license agreement, I clicked accept, and uh, that was it. So, um, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it's not working. So, fortunately, we're going to have to skip that test. So, the next test is shotcut. We are currently at 64% um, battery. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull this over. Alright, we're going to full screen it. And we will... Where's the timeline? Hang on one second, I haven't set this up yet. Okay, set it up. So now we have to just add it and export it. So 60% and export the file. Let's just call it test and we'll put it to the desktop. Oh, and let's time it, I suppose.
right, guys, it's almost finished. As you can see, we're actually 5 minutes 25 seconds in. There we go. Took 5 minutes 26 seconds to do. So, <laughs> that's a lot longer. And, uh, yep, yeah, we are at 53%. So, we did drop quite a bit. I believe that's 10%, maybe 9%. Um, so, that's pretty bad. I don't know what took so long. Uh, maybe there's a setting I didn't check. 60% quality. I think these are all the same thing. So, not sure um, what might have caused that. Uh, I'm going to edit the video and realize I did something stupid and it's not Linux, but yeah. Let's see if we can watch the video. Okay, maybe we have to use VLC. Yeah, there we go. It worked. Quality actually looks better, so maybe maybe something did happen with the settings. Um, so the last test is to just simply watch this video. We're at 53%. Just full screen it and make it t two times. And uh, we'll see what it's at afterwards. So. Yeah. By the way, this is actually playing a whole lot faster than the camera's picking up just because I'm recording at 30 FPS. So just watch out for that. So that concludes the test. Um, I know that there were a couple things I could have done as well, like games to test, but honestly, I don't do that, so I didn't really bother to test that. Also, I'm running this off of a uh, Linux stick, so uh, installing games might have been a little difficult, because I don't think this is actually saving to anywhere. This might just be saving to the RAM, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. So, um, so um, in my experience, Linux actually does last a whole lot longer when um, browsing the web. Just you know, browsing Reddit, YouTube, the news, it it lasts like thirty minutes longer. But all the other tests, um, it didn't do so great, which is interesting. I always thought that Linux was a little better, but that uh browsing internet, but apparently watching videos, it's actually, well, it's about the same as Windows, but it seemed a little worse. The fan kicked up a whole lot higher than it did in Windows, so that could be a driver thing, but, you know, I guess this is the problem with um, some of the drivers only being for Windows, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video should be out soon. Saturday, maybe Friday. <laughs> I have to edit this video, so uh, that might take a little while. Since I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do it, and uh, I'm just rambling. So, yeah, see ya.